What's going on, guys? My name's Jody. So, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Honestly, dude, like, Riverdale, it's kind of not as bad as I thought, all right? Now, of course, I've been a huge fan. I've been watching since they first started four years ago, right? I still remember I was a ninth grader, a freshman in high school. Yes, it was crazy, all right? And now, and this was, like, pre-beard, and, like, I had this little tiny mustache, and I had, like, really chubby, I had a huge face. And yeah, it was, it was it was it was really crazy, and yeah, this was back then where I had like no muscle on my body. It's you know, crazy times, but now here we are, four years later. Riverdale is still going strong. One of my most favorite shows. You guys know this. I love Archie, not in a homo way. All right, not that there's anything wrong with that, but no homo. All right, Archie's my guy. Him and I, we're dudes, we're bros, we're chill. Right, so that's kind of what I'm talking about. It's not like you know, yeah, but. You know, Betty and Veronica, different story. Anyway, let's dive more into Riverdale's episode that just got released last week. Um, I hope you guys watched it. Right, the reason I'm making the preview today, by the way, is because in case you guys didn't know, I make them every single week on the Wednesday before the new episode comes out. It's kind of to recap you guys on what's been going on. All right, so let's dive into three main things that took place. Right, or sh should really be four things. All right, let's just talk about the four things. Number one with Archie, the whole like prison outbreak shut down he's trying to come out of that i mean uh, yeah if you want to just add to the story that way whatever right I, I don't even know anymore he's trying to like protect the school so we'll see what happens man i mean he's gotta do what he's gotta do, what he's gotta do. and yeah man i just hope that he doesn't get beat up too bad because we saw him get beat up and dude sucks man you guys can't make archie weak dude's the main character right <laughs> so all right whatever Let's see how that ends, okay? Let's dive into the second main character, which is Betty, all right? Charles and Chick got released, or they broke out of prison, and now they're at home. That whole vibe was really weird. Glenn came over, like, dude, this is like the worst nightmare for Betty, right? Think about it. You have Charles and Chick, the two serial killer dudes who are, like, supposed to be your brothers who are at home getting married. Like, crazy, crazy things going on. And then later, you also have Glenn, your, like, ex-boyfriend, who's not really your boyfriend, but he used to be your boyfriend. He comes over, you gotta stab him, shoot, and then your mom shoots her son. Like, it's crazy, dude. This guy is wild. And, yeah, I don't even know what, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what's up with that. But, yeah, you guys know what's, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's crazy, it's wild. Riverdale writers, dude, like, y'all have some twisted minds. Anyway, let's dive into Veronica, all right? So, but with Veronica... Nothing big, you know, nothing crazy. Like, her and Chad, that whole breakup thing was supposed to happen. It was supposed to be Veronica and um, Archie. But but you guys know the whole, like, him messing with her, talking about he wrote his investments in her business name. Crazy. I don't know how she's going to come out of it, but hey, man, she's got to have to do something about it. So I don't know if she's going to be back in New York and they're going to kind of take her out of the episodes or if she's going to, you know, fight back and come back. Not sure. We'll have to see. Last but not least, Jughead... Tabhead finally happened, guys. So I've been shipping Tabhead for a while, right? You guys know from like the first episode from season five, I've been shipping Tabhead. You guys know this if you follow my Instagram at Jenny Solomon Riverdale. Shameless plug. Anyway, so then with that being said, I think it was awesome the fact that we we kind of saw that little moment between them in the diner when they played that song and then they were like singing along and boom, it was awesome. And then later, of course, Jughead, we know. One weird little dude, right? Out here taking magic, mushrooms, psychedelics, crazy, wild. And then that's how the episode ended with him like ripping out of his handcuffs. And then he was dreaming about Betty and his girlfriend and his ex girlfriend, Jess, and then T Tabitha. And it's wild. It's crazy. But hey, man, I think Tabhead is a great little thing that's going to happen. So we're here for it. But other than that, that's how the episode ended. That is how this video's. Uh, or this week's video is going to end. So if you want to get more Riverdale content, if this once a week isn't enough for you, and if you also just, you know, hate hearing me talk, you can go on to Instagram at Teddy Solomon Riverdale, all right? Or you can hit the link, in the, or you can go to my Instagram in the bio, right? Copy that, paste it, and then use the link there to go, all right? But I'm just telling you right now, Jetty Solomon Riverdale, easiest way you're going to find me, all right? Thank you guys so much for watching. See you tomorrow for a new video. Bye.